here in New Orleans, 1350. Four till seven, every weekday afternoon, four to seven. Join me over there. It's a lot easier to get in. And, uh, you know, it's the same, same idea. Marie, welcome to the food show. Oh, hi, Tom. Thanks so much for taking my call. Thank you. Um, I had a restaurant report. Uh, it's kind of a restaurant experience, and I wanted to ask your what, is, opinion. Was this, uh, was this a bad experience? Uh, it was a bad experience. I'm not going to okay. tell you who it is. Don't tell me the name till I ask you. Okay. okay. I, right, I went to me. dinner a few nights ago with some friends. We yeah. made reservations, because I know you say you should make reservations at a nice restaurant. Yes. And it's a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we agreed that we would meet in the bar because yeah. some of us were coming from town and some were out in Mattery. So we yeah. got in the bar, and when the three of us were there, uh, the um, bartender came over and we said, we have reservations, but we'd like to have mm -hmm. And he said, no problem. So my friend asked him, what kind of red wine do you have by the glass? And I said, oh, wait a minute. I just heard Tom Fitzmaurice advising us if there were two or more in a party, we were all drinking wine, the same yeah. kind of wine, that we should get a bottle. Yeah. That you had never gotten a bad bottle of wine, but sometimes a bad glass of wine, and it's it's more reasonable yeah. by yeah. the bottle. Absolutely. So while we were talking, the bartender reached over, and he picked up a bottle of wine that had been open, yeah. and he propped down three glasses, and he poured a little in one glass and pushed it over to me. Yeah. And I said, oh, what kind of wine is this? And he said, what difference does it make if you like it? You're and, kidding. No, and I thought he was joking. I felt like, you uh -huh. know, like you were hoping he was joking. No, it, it was, it, this was an open bottle of wine after you... Uh... He had a, it was already open. He reached, we were discussing what kind of wine we would get, and he reached over and he poured it, like, I guess, to give us a taste of it. So my yeah. friend tasted it, and she said, oh, I don't like this. Has it been open a while? And he said, oh, about three days. Oh, well, yeah. I still thought, well, maybe he's joking. And we said, well, look, maybe we need a wine list. So he handed mm -hmm. her the wine list, and while we were going over the wine list, he plopped down another glass, pulled out an open bottle from under the bar, poured some in the glass, and shoved it over to us. Mm -hmm. And, of course, he had the same thing. He did say it was the Pinot Noir. And yeah. we tasted it, and we thought it was pretty good, and we said, well, okay, we'll go with that. Well, he yeah. proceeded to pour two glasses of wine out of the open bottle. And he only had two glasses left. He had like a dribble for the third glass. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, you must have misunderstood. We want a bottle of wine. And he said, yeah. look, I just opened this bottle about 10, 20 minutes ago. And I, I'm still like, uh, I'm in shock. And I yeah, said... Yeah, well, this, this guy's a moron. moron. Okay, well, my opinion, okay? And I'm like, yeah. no, no, no. We want our own bottle. A bottle, said, yeah. I'll pour you another glass. I'll open another bottle. Don't you believe me? I just opened it. I said, but you only have two glasses in the bottle. I want a bottle that I can take to my table. And if we don't finish it, we take it home. We finished it, of course. Yeah. And he was so hot. He picked up a new bottle of wine. He opened it, threw it on the counter, put the glasses there, and walked away. I would have asked for the manager immediately. Tom, guess what? What? He He's was the, the owner. manager. He's the, the owner. owner. <laughs> I was fell out when I went to the table. I ah. said to the waitress... Who is the guy behind the bar? And she said he's the owner. Huh. Now, I mean, and I, this, I've been there three times since Christmas. This was my last time. Was I it mean, good? I, and then my friends have said, well, I'd have walked out, but you, I didn't want to walk out of there. I had my reservation. You know, it wasn't the wait mm -hmm. fault. Yeah. You know, the wait. But, I mean, I, I, I don't understand. And this is supposed to be a very good restaurant. No, that, that's a very that's popular terrible. restaurant. In that's, that's terrible. Yeah. Huh? So what I, know, that, you, I would I, I would you say the name of the restaurant? Yeah, go ahead. It's the New City Grill. You're kidding. Derek is his name. Oh, yeah. Well, he's a nice guy. I don't know. He oh, might he have was been not, I don't You know, know what was oh, wait a minute. You know, day. he might he might have been kidding. He has he, a he, he has, has a, a sense of humor. Listen, write him a letter. Tell him you told all this to me and tell him what you said and see what he does and then call me back. Okay, I will okay. because he, he I mean, really he didn't is. Even give when he opened the bottle of wine, you know, one of the people in the party was like, "Well, we have to pour our own wine." And I, now, I you know, he okay. plopped yeah, it send, down and walked send, away. Write him a letter telling me everything you just said. Write and, him a and letter. Write him a letter personally okay. and tell him you talk to me, and uh, and, uh, and and see what he does, and then let me know what he did. Okay. But I'm sure this sounds like. Derek he, is, is he's he a, the he's, he he's, he's, 
he's don't, look just write the letter and let me know okay because the reason okay. we left the bar was he was down yeah. on the other end telling another okay. customer about it yeah okay so. well uh, write him a letter and and let's see what happens okay okay thank All you right. see ya it's the food show and here is roland hi tom thanks for